Transport Minister Esiswaran was arrested on Tuesday as part of a probe by the Corrupt Practices Investigation Bureau. Now, the anti-graft agency says that the minister is out on bail right now and his passport has been impounded. Now, earlier this week, it had said that Mr. Swaran was assisting with investigations into a case that it had uncovered. Mr. Swaran has since been on leave of absence and is not allowed access to any official resources and government buildings. As part of the same probe, property tycoon Ong Beng Seng was also arrested on the same day in relation to his interactions with Mr. Swaran. Hotel Properties Limited, which was founded by Mr. Ong, says no charges have been filed and that he is cooperating fully. The Singapore-based businessman is out on bail of 100,000 Singapore dollars and is traveling today. He will surrender his passport to the CPIB when he returns. And besides his interests in property, Mr. Ong owns the rights to the Singapore Grand Prix. He is credited with playing a key role in bringing the Formula One night race to Singapore. In a statement, Singapore GP says that it will continue with preparations for its F1 event in September. The race promoter says it is, quote, not at liberty to provide any further information as investigations are ongoing. A following on Mr. Ong's arrest, HPL shares slipping as much as 6% in trade, the stock recovering slightly but closed 2.59% lower at $3.76. So why was Ong Beng Seng allowed to leave Singapore despite being served a notice of arrest? A one lawyer says that it's not uncommon for suspects to be allowed to travel. Authorities will consider various factors before determining if the suspect poses any flight risk. So factors that the authorities uh, commonly will, will consider include routes uh, that the suspect has in Singapore and if the suspect has any other routes elsewhere in other jurisdictions, whether the offence is a severe enough offence that may compel a suspect to want to abscond, um, the wealth of the suspect as well and where that wealth uh, is situated in. Ms. Nyam also describes the value of Mr. Ong's bail as, quote, neutral. And she says that while it's not a low amount, it's also not the highest that she's observed in CPIB cases. Uh, this could boil down to a number of reasons. How the authorities typically, uh, I think, assess a bail amount to be fixed will include factors like a suspect's wealth, the severity of the offence that is being alleged as well. And in this case, because we're talking about corruption, allegations, the value of the purported corruption may also be considered if at this point in time, the authorities already have uh, somewhat a figure in mind. Here's more on Malaysian property tycoon Ong Beng Seng. He was born in 1946 in Sabah and came to Singapore at the age of four. Mr. Ong made his first fortune selling shipping insurance in the early 1970s before joining oil trading firm Quo International. And that was also where he met his wife, Christina Ong, whose father owns the firm. Mr. and Mrs. Ong were ranked Singapore's 24th richest people last year. According to Forbes, the couple has a net worth of some $1.75 billion. Mr. Ong is the managing director of Singapore-listed Hotel Properties Limited, which he founded in 1980. It boasts a portfolio of luxury hotels, including Four Seasons and Concord, across 15 countries. The businessman also owns the rights to the Singapore Grand Prix and is the chairman of race promoter Singapore GP. The race has been held annually here since 2008, except for a two-year break during the COVID-19 pandemic.